Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Conan the Barbarian, issue number three from Heroic Signature and Titan Comics. This was badass, it should be expected. Let's talk real quick about who made this comic book. We'll go on from there. Uh, Grim Jim Zub is the writer, ravaging Rob Delator is back on art. Devi oh, actually, he was already always on art. Devious Dean White is still on colors. <laughs> All right. Righteous, righteous, whatever, riotous, uh, Richard Starkings doing the letters, and uh, Matt Murray doing the editing. This is fantastic. So are the four covers for this comic book. One very Marvel-like, one absurdly amazing out of the world with great shadows, and the two other really banging, slamming ones, dude. Holy crap, like, they are just not letting up on us, right? But Conan comes walking through with Brissa, his, basically his brule <laughs> right-hand woman, and um, they go walking through this cavern, this cave that they've found, trying to figure out what all this stuff is. For days they've been walking, trying to find something to, some way to figuring out where these guys are going, what these guys are doing, these undead creatures, right? This, this weird of the north, of the Picts, the lost tribe. Find this cave system, start working through it. The... It's funny, the we, if you've read any of the old Conan books, you learn a whole lot of really great vocabulary from them, right? Those old pulp magazines, get, and I never got the chance to read them in the magazine form. I, that was way before my time, but reading them in novel form, whew, amazing. And you learn so many words from there. That's where comic books picked that idea up, right? When I was a kid, I used to learn so many vocabulary words just from comic books. When I got older, I'm like, oh, they got them from Conan <laughs> and Michael Moorcock and people like that, you know? Really good stuff. So it only helps with the descriptors even more because now you're learning something new. You're learning a new word. You're, you're, you're incre increasing your vocabulary while at the same time getting more and more engrossed in these stories because you could still understand what they're saying by reading it in context and what a context. So Conan and Brissa start making their way through these caverns and they come across some uh, um, not Asgardians, the Sumerians who are trapped up in there. They've been starved until they get super weak. And once they're super weak, they get taken away. They don't know why. Suddenly a couple of these undead monsters attack, and then two cloaked figures also. The second one of them got revealed to be a lizard-like creature, I'm like jumping in my seat screaming, Kanamaka Lajarama, because every good warrior knows that's going to undo the lizard men. I'm just saying. So, holy crap, dude. This book was so good. We're going to stop the description of what happened in the comic book from there. Um, well, I'm going to stop the, the exact story. More that what happened is deepening the relationship between he and Brissa. Now, is she going to be a an ongoing character in these stories? I highly doubt it. <laughs> but it's not to say that I don't wish that she would. But at the same time, no love of Conan's can last for long. I mean, come on. He already banged her. This is like a horror movie. There's There's a certain etiquette that you do. If you are a female and you're in these stories with Conan, don't sleep with the dude because you're almost guaranteed to be killed or turned into a big man-ape of some sort. Like, these are the things that happen to the, the, the women who Conan beds. Unless it's at the end of a story, then you might get off scot-free. Who knows? But if it happens in the beginning, it's your ass. Anytime before the last couple of pages. So, yeah, <laughs> they, they should know this stuff. I'm still not sure on... The, the one black character that's supposed to be in every Conan story. still not, We know about in the, in, in the uh, like, he's the first to die in a horror movie, right? But what about a Conan story? Maybe Zeb will describe that one day. <laughs> this was so good. I don't have to tell you about how great the art was. You can see it just in the preview pages. You can see it in the love and the heart that they're putting into this. Guys, I may have mentioned before... Uh, Pat Zercher is going to be doing the art in the Solomon Kane comic books coming out. I can't wait to read them. Uh, I forget. I saw the name of the guy who's going to be doing the writing. Damn it, Matt something. 
Oh, and I'm so looking forward to it. I'm really hoping it's going to be even half as good at this as this, and it'll still be good. I mean, if these guys really own all of the stuff, we could see some Red Sonya. We could see some Call the Barbarian. Uh, the, excuse me, the, well, he is a barbarian, Call the Barbarian, who is called the King, right? Call of Atlantis. We could see all of these stories. Oh, there's a famous name in here from the Call stories that I was none too happy to see because that spells really bad things. <laughs> like, talk about putting your best foot forward. Holy crap, this is going to be really bad for Conan and company. He's got a whole bunch of friends right now. I don't know if they're going to make it. <laughs> I don't know if the Sumerians as a, as a race are going to make it at this point. Uh, this is cold. This is brutal. And this is sick. And I'm loving every second of these comic books. Guys, you're not going to go wrong by checking out these stories. It's pretty much impossible before I continue with the review. Check out my book of riddles. There's only like, what, six? Uh, no, there's about nine or ten days left or so. Been trying to put these in hobby shops and comic book stores all over the place. My peeps, if you could help me out, go to my Kickstarter page and actually check my book of riddles for more than 300 riddles for any kind of fantasy role-playing game in existence. It's some good stuff. I'll teach you how to write riddles, where to put them, in stories with different kinds of riddles there are to actually appropriate them properly for which whichever kind of story you're telling campaign you're running but if you could put these in a and print these out and ask somebody in the hobby shop can i put this up for my friend because if you do that you are my friend it's as simple as that uh, i fie upon anyone who tells you otherwise fie upon them i say fie but if you do that we'll be tight so I put the, a copy of the poster up on my Kickstarter page. By all means, copy, print, put it up. There's a little QR code on there that will bring you right back to the Kickstarter page. I would really like to get this thing funded uh, appropriately. And it seems to be having the most effect in comic book stores, or, or more specifically, the, uh, the hobby stores. So any place that plays these games or sells those games would be much appreciated. Grazie, grazie. In fact, if uh, you should, if you take a picture of you putting one of those in a comic book store and this thing gets funded, forget about the first 10 pages. I will give you the first 25 pages of my next book, which is a book on traps for fantasy game settings. The first 25 pages. That alone is going to give you like 20, 30 traps minimum. All right? So there's that. I want to thank all you guys who are doing that for me. As far as this comic book is concerned, you can't go wrong. You, if you like Conan, not even love, if you like Conan, I feel like you'd be a fool not jumping onto the series. Do not wait for the trade paperbacks. No need. Get the comic books themselves. Make sure these guys know that this book is selling. I I know that it is because it's already going to like third printings and whatnot. For every single issue, I'm glad that I get this a week early, right? Because these books are amazing. And nobody's not going to like these. This, this is the kind of story that could put you onto Conan if you've never heard of the character before. How could you have not heard of this character before? Talk to you guys later. Like the video, watch an ad. Check out my Kickstarter and help me to advertise the thing with the 9 or 10 days that I have left on it. All right? Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.